What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome to the Back for Blood beta. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of this. I did not get to play the closed beta. I just started playing the open beta yesterday when it went live here on PS5. And you can play this still and you can still download this on all platforms. So if you've not tried it yet, you still have a few days left in this open beta to give it a look. It is enjoyable. Uh, I will say it's kind of a shell of Left 4 Dead. Now it is the same team, the same group of people that made Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. But like I said, it's kind of a shell of Left 4 Dead. It's not exactly what you would expect when it comes to if you're a Left 4 Dead fan, I guess. The first thing that I can tell you that's going to be different when you start playing is going to be your characters all have certain abilities. They all bring something to the table, whether it be, you know, more ammo for the group, more health for the group, more, you know, ability to carry, you know, healing equipment slots, that kind of thing. So all characters have abilities that they kind of benefits the group overall. So it almost makes it kind of that aspect of a hero style shooter, not exactly a hero style shooter, but still has that kind of feel to it. Then you add the new card system in, which is kind of a perk system, which I think a lot of people will enjoy because we have a, a option to unlock a lot of cards in the beta. I'm sure there's going to be more in the full game release. But the neat thing about these cards is these are things that benefit you and you can unlock so many cards, have them with you in a loadout and kind of unlock them per round. And of course, your character is going to get stronger and stronger as the rounds go on because you're going to have uh, more options to have different cards slotted on your character to give you different abilities from stamina to that ammo capacity to health that kind of stuff so with the card system and the abilities on the characters like i said it kind of makes it feel like a hero style shooter more than a left for dead game and i know they may not have been going for you know wanting to make it just like left for dead and left for dead 2 they have made it a little bit different which i think is a good thing uh, overall but it does not feel exactly like left for dead if you were looking for that just in my opinion anyway uh, the difficulty of the game is pretty insane on some of the higher difficulties. I mean, a lot of people are even saying the lower difficulties are hard at certain parts throughout the, you know, the one act that we get to do here in the beta. Uh, you get into those harder difficulties, it actually gets pretty insane. And a lot of people are saying it's way too difficult, it's too frustrating. Um, that also kind of goes into the next point of if you have a good group dynamic, it's a little easier to complete some of this harder content. But if you have, you know, randoms and you can, they don't have a mic, you can't talk to them or you're unlucky and i was unlucky several times last night and got thrown in with you know maybe one person or two people in a bot uh the ai is not that great especially on the harder difficulties and you kind of get screwed if you have ai teammates but i think this game is really kind of tailored towards a group of friends playing together so you and three friends uh that can communicate get the right setups get the right card setups have the right characters out so you have you know things that you need to benefit the entire team I think a good group dynamic is what's going to make some of the harder uh, content a little bit easier. And I think as the game goes on, as the beta goes on, as the release comes out, people are going to kind of figure those dynamics out. But in my opinion, it's not exactly as easy to pick up and just play if you're playing solo, unless you get a really good group of you know people just kind of randomly throughout the game and you don't get stuck with playing with the AI. One thing that I think that it was very annoying, or one thing that I, I really hope they changed, and this may not be for everyone, but it really kind of irks me, is the controller settings. Now, I'm a person here on PlayStation, I'm a fan of shooting with R1, L1, the top bumpers, I've shot with those forever. And there is no option in the custom controls or just the regular control settings to set L1, R1 to be your, you know, your ADS and your fire. Uh, that reason being is L1 is bound to the ping system and you cannot change L1 to, you know, I usually use L1 to ADS and R1 to shoot. Um, most all games nowadays have the option to either flip, you know, your L1, R1, uh, R2, L2 kind of option. This game does not. Hopefully they will look at that in the future and figure out a way or at least allow you to change that ping. I wouldn't mind just changing the ping to something else like something on the D-pad maybe. Hopefully that's going to be in the full game release. That is the one thing that really kind of irked me when I'm playing. But like I said, that's just a personal preference. But I know some of you out there may be the same as me and you use you know, the bumpers to shoot instead of the back triggers. And last but not least, I enjoyed the PvE part. The PvP part is not really that great. Uh, it's kind of humans against the zombies. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's just kind of all right. I mean, most people that are playing the zombies know the choke points to kind of choke you out. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm more of a fan of co-op, kind of just horde modes, that kind of thing. And hopefully we'll have some different stuff when it comes to the full release. But I know a lot of people are upset. There's not really a, you know, PvP kind of campaign version. They already said they're not going to be bringing that to the game, kind of like what we had back with Left 4 Dead. So that is a bit of a disappointment. I do think if it's handled correctly, so far what I've seen, it could be a very interesting, very fun, enjoyable game. 
But I do think there needs to be some tweaks made after this beta, and hopefully, uh, you know, the team there will be able to fix this quickly and get some of these things worked out so everybody can enjoy the game. Of course, they've been working diligently throughout the beta, getting things fixed with matchmaking not working correctly, and they've been communicating well with the, the you know, kind of the community in general. So that was a good thing also. But I'm kind of curious if you guys have played it. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.